Floyd Rifa and Asman Heen still have roles to play in West Indies cricket. This according to Cricket West Indies Director of Cricket, Jimmy Adams. Rifa and Haynes were two of the final three candidates alongside Phil Simmons, who eventually got the nod from the board to lead the regional team. Adams called Rifa one of the top young coaches in the region and wants him to play a role in player development. He's somebody that we definitely see as one of our top young coaches and we're going to be doing everything that we can to encourage him to keep, to stay within the system, okay, and, you know, to, to continue making contributions to the development of our young players. Adding that legends such as Haynes cannot be discarded. Being one of the best that we've had in, in certainly in my memory. Um, Desmond's, not, not only his ability, but his, his working knowledge of, of the game is, is something that I think will be of benefit to us in this cricket going forward. And, and similarly, the, the, the onus is on us, and, and we are committed to, when you look at people like Desmond, like Kirkley, and Courtney, people from, from that era who have served us well, yes, but on top of that, have such a good working knowledge of the skill that we don't lose that. Cricket West Indies announced the appointment of Gus Logie as the interim head coach of the West Indies women's team, as well as the appointment of a new team manager. Logie will take over the duties from Henderson Springer, who will continue to provide assistance to CWI's coaching education programs. Logie will guide the preparations of the West Indies women for their month-long series against the visiting Indian women's team, which starts on November 1st in Antigua. And Gus had been the assistant coach of the West Indies women's team since 2017.